Most professors urge students to evaluate information for assignments. However, how do you know whether you can trust a source of information? This video on knowledge creation will help you do just that. Because once you understand how knowledge is created and shared, then you can better evaluate sources. A professor may tell you to find books or scholarly articles, but maybe you're in a hurry and thinking, what's wrong with using stuff on the internet or even talking to a knowledgeable friend? While the internet, social media, and even personal connections can provide relevant information under certain circumstances, would you really trust it if your life depended on accurate information? Like knowing the best treatment for a life-threatening condition, or how to avoid a lawsuit, or even how to invest wisely for your retirement? Using sources other than the internet isn't just about not annoying your professors. It's about becoming a more knowledgeable human being one who doesn't share fake news with your friends. And to do that, we must understand who is creating trustworthy information. Is it true that we should be reading and referencing scholarly or professional books and articles? Do you remember learning about the scientific method? It is a validated method of discovery for creating information in the sciences whether by scientific experiment, a literary analysis, or a sociological case study, academic disciplines have various methods for creating reliable information. In an information literate society, scientists, scholars, and researchers are continually discovering and creating information, and it is transferred or shared to others through conferences, books, scholarly articles, and even in government statistical sources. In time, this information is shared by media professionals to inform the public. When ethical, they are committed to citing and using unbiased sources. They repackage what may be scholarly and technical information into a user-friendly format, which you may find via a podcast, news report, or website. The final stage in a successful transfer of information is that the general public stays informed in order to share accurate information in their conversations and social media. However, there has been a breakdown in this process and people don't often consider the credibility of the people they allow to inform them. Whether you are consuming information from scholarly publications as represented in the middle of the bullseye, or the other levels of information from a media professional to a friend, always ask, what is the expertise and potential bias of the person creating or passing along the information? You may be saying, what about me and others who aren't researchers? Can I create information? Yes, of course, but use good sources so that you don't spread fake news. The information you create and share will only be as good as the information you consume, whether you read, hear, or watch. In closing, remember that different information is appropriate for different situations. For instance, it makes sense to look up a restaurant review on the internet. Also, information varies in quality, whatever the source. And finally, it is key to always ask who wrote this information and are they credible? For my inspiration for this video, check out some theories I learned in library school. And make sure you cite your sources too. Lastly, don't forget to contact a librarian on your quest toward becoming a more knowledgeable human being.